everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the Silo series by Hugh Howey. Before we begin, let's talk about what the Silo series is about. The world came into chaos and when it did, humans built these gigantic silos. These things are huge. They take you days to go up and down it. Um, every level has different things that happen in each level so you don't know what's happening in the third level if you live on the 54th level you know the lower levels are the poor the middle levels are like the middle class and then the upper levels are the higher class or the government officials etc etc you get where I'm going with this you're not allowed to question or even talk about the outside the moment you do you get outside to clean which is basically a death sentence because you're cleaning you're cleaning the cameras that are outside but essentially you just die because the outside is just that terrible the human population is regulated so that means that you know you cannot just have children women have this chip inside of them that does not allow them to give birth you enter yourself into a lottery in order to have a child the silo series is an amazing world building experience and also the setup in wool itself with how much action and how much everything that goes on in that book blows my mind like I'm able to recite everything I recited in the beginning of this story based off of a book I read last year the beginning of last year and it's just engraved it's just ingrained in my brain because it was so well explained and so memorable that I can go ahead and, ex and just explain it easily like that. Wool I, was my favorite book actually last year. Um, I gave it, I believe, a 4.5 out of 5 stars. For whatever reason, you guys can check out my review as to why I gave it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. The Wool sets up the world and it brings these characters to life that are amazing. Shift is the second book in the series and in the second book in the series they explain as to why everything happens in Wool. So why humans are living in the silos, why this is all happening. Shift is just great in developing the story further and really explaining to you why Wool exists. And it was a really suspenseful story as well. I just personally didn't enjoy Shift as much because when I found out the reason why everything was going on, it just kind of, I mean, it was a cool theory and it was really awesome that he went there, but it was just kind of, let me explain how I feel about this. Let's say you're going to a movie where, a science fiction movie, where the main villain is an alien and it's so scary how they build up this alien and then they show you the alien and I was just kind of like all right still a good book though that's how I feel about shift dust brings together both the characters from the first book and characters from the second book this book was really well thought out I really liked the way the characters interacted I really liked a lot of the stuff that happened. I'm not gonna talk about dust as a lot because I feel like if I do it'll ruin the rest of the series because I'm gonna be talking about the ending but I'm trying to keep this as vague as possible so if anything sounds a little confusing just let me know in the comments and then I'll kind of clear it out a little bit. This book kept me on the edge of my seat. There was a lot of things that happened in this book. It has a lot of the same dystopian tropes and stuff in it but it does it in a very refreshing way it's just new and I like it and it was great and it was it brought me back to the world that I really enjoyed and I want him to actually write more of these books in different silos I think that would be really awesome to know what happened in other silos the world building in these books is amazing it brings back life into your body if you're a big world builder person like myself this book gave me everything I wanted and the series gave me everything I wanted and I would recommend the series to basically anybody who's in love with science fiction, who's in love with uh, dystopians. I gave this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed this book a whole lot. So let's see if there's any other book that beats this book for my favorite position for the end of the year when I do my end of the year wrap up because I, you know I will be doing that video and we'll be talking about it. Let me know if you've read the Silo series. What did you think about it? Are your feelings the same as mine where everything was great about it except the second book? Please remember to thumb this up and subscribe for more book reviews and stuff. And also let me know if you guys want me to do a book talk on this so I can get more into detail because I'm dying to talk to somebody about this, but I don't want to ruin it. I'm trying to keep things spoiler free, so yeah. Also follow me on all my social medias and um, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!